to spread or not to spread? That's the question facing many councils throughout New Zealand when it comes to the disposal of biosolids, the byproduct of sewage treatment. There's much to be gained by spreading this nutrient-rich substance onto the soil. But what are the unseen effects that might not be immediately obvious? Everything that we use every day ends up in the wastewater system and yeah, as the treatments for the water side of things improves and then it ends as a greater concentration of the contaminants in the biosolids themselves. So it's got to end up somewhere and it ends up in our wastewater treatment plants and biosolids and therefore potentially applied to land. For a lot of the contaminants that we're interested in at the moment are the so-called emerging contaminants and so these are things like um, pharmaceuticals and personal care products, um, hormones and so on. And so the, the testing that the girls are doing at the moment is looking at three individual um, compounds, both as single compounds and then as mixtures. Um, mixture toxicity is, is really difficult to, to look at, it's a, quite a new field of, of research and what you're looking at you know, for there is whether the, the mixture of the compounds gives an additive effect or or a more than additive effect or a less than additive effect. So how do we find out what might happen if these chemicals are spread on our soil? Well, that's where these little guys come in. Earthworms are quite a common test organism. You can use them you know, in the lab you know, kind of quite easily as well as they also have ecological relevance. Um, healthy worms, healthy soils. <laughs> uh, and so we, we tend to use those as standardised uh, testing so you can ensure that all your protocols are, you know, are, are working properly. So it gives you standard results, um, comparable results. Once we have a better understanding of whether the chemicals that are in the biosolids are actually causing a detrimental effect or not, it gives much greater or much better guidance around you know, how you can actually beneficially use biosolids. Obviously if there's contaminants in the biosolids and you know, widespread applications such as on agricultural land you know, may not be a good thing. Whereas if we've got you know, better information on you know, what concentrations they're at, how long they might persist and what those effect is, then it enables you know, great, better guidelines to be you know, put in place. The program, led by ESR in collaboration with Landcare Research, Scion Plant and Food Research and the Cawthron Institute, intends to provide the science to help those having to answer this difficult question of how and where to spread the byproducts of our sewage treatment. I mean, a lot of people's concern is around the perception of the contaminants and so the work that we're doing you know, feeds into providing some of the, the real information, comparing what results we get toxic effects at compared to what we see, actually see in the biosolids. So these small but invaluable little creatures are helping us to find the answer to a contentious problem.